Welcome everyone. In order to use the Def Effect in iOS 16, if you have an iPhone 10 or 8, you are unable to add Def Effect for custom pictures. You can only use the featured uh, wallpapers which are available here. If you have iPhone XR, XS and newer, let's get right into this. So there are some troubleshooting which we may need to do. So I do advise you watch the full thing before you start yourself. So on the lock screen, you're going to long press on the empty space. You're going to slide to the left until you see here the plus icon. You're going to tap on the plus. From here, you should see a photos icon. Tap on this one. And then you want to select the photo you would like to use. So I'm going to use this photo here because this is a good example of a photo which is not supported. OK, so I have a supported device. You saw the death effect was working earlier but the death effect isn't working right now. If you tap on the triple dots here and I tap on the death effect, it still isn't working. So to check whether or not your image is supported, you just need to get two fingers and slowly zoom out and then slowly zoom back in. And what you're going to notice is the death effect is working now. What that means is your picture is too zoomed in. So let's take a look at the picture itself. So I'm going to go to my photos app. The image I was trying to add is this one right here. What is wrong with this image? The problem is there is not enough background. OK, there is too much foreground, which is my face and not enough background. This image, on the other hand, will 100 percent work. Look how much background there is here and look how little foreground there is. Because the image is going to be zoomed in like this, you need to make sure that if you're having issues, there must be a larger background. It doesn't need to be insane. It doesn't need to be the Mona Lisa, but you just need a larger background compared to the foreground. Uh, if your current image uh, can't be zoomed out. Now, as we know what images are supported or not, let's go back to the lock screen. We're going to long press and we're just going to do this again, but I'm going to use an image I know for 100% is supported. OK, so let's use this image here. And you can see if your image is supported, it's kind of just going to you know, work. Do keep in mind if your image is covering over where it says add widgets. If you tap on a plus and you add the widgets, you're going to see the death effect is going to stop working. So you may need to tap on your widgets, tap on the minus here and tap on the minus until you have normal widgets and then the death effect will work. So now we're from here, we can zoom in or out. Keep in mind, if you zoom in too much, the death effect will stop working. So we'll just go like this. If you ever want to turn off the death effect manually, you can tap on the triple dots and you can turn it off and on. But if you're watching this video, I don't think you're going to be doing that. And then when you're good to go, tap on the add. You can add a wallpaper pair if you want both the lock screen and the home screen to be the same. If you tap on a customized home screen, you can now choose whether or not you want the original here. You can blur the original. You can select a photo from your photo gallery if you'd like to. Just tap on photos, select that photo. You can choose color. If you tap on it again, you can change the color. You can also use a gradient. OK, so you can kind of change the gradient here. Do keep in mind you cannot select Apple's default wallpapers for whatever reason. So if you like an Apple default, uh, default wallpaper, you will need to uh, import it to your photos library and then tap on photos and select it there. And then when you're ready to go, just tap on done. And there we go. So we now have everything fully working. No more issues. The death effect is on our device. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.